Hey, 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 hey guys, it's your girl. Welcome to Jana's World. And I'm back yet with another video. Y'all know what to do for all y'all subscribers. Hit that, um, hit that like button and give your girl a thumbs up. I mean, and for people that's watching this video, if you're not subscribed, please subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much. It don't cost you nothing. And today, guys, I'm going to go ahead on a little bit. Um, coming on now and doing this because I'm going to do this crock pot um, healthy meal. And I'm going to be using uh, chicken chicken thighs for this. I ain't feel like digging out. You can use any chicken, whatever. But um, I ain't feel like digging around looking for the chicken breast and stuff. But um, I don't even know if it is even some more down there. But yeah, guys, so I got my crock pot um, and everything set up down here. I got my crock pot right here. Got my crock pot out and everything. And um, I'm so rude. How everyone doing? Hope everyone is having a blessed day. Hey, hey, hey. Um, I be trying to mostly have the stuff prepped up and everything. But I know I was going to have a little time. So I figured I'd take my time. Everything. Got my little breakfast drink right here. About to drink this. Mm. This is delicious. I ain't gonna put the top all we on that because I know I'm gonna be back and forth. Hold on, guys. Um, broccoli out the deep freeze. This is the fresh broccoli that I had got from the farmer's market that I had cleaned off and froze in the bag. Yep, yep. So, anywho, get started with cutting up these um, veggies. I'm gonna move this crock pot right here to the back. Let me turn this on. Sorry, you guys. I'm trying to get y'all aimed at what your girl doing that's why i said i did order another um little stand that i know i'm gonna like a little better than this okay so that'll do anyway first off guys got my peeler for my carrots and everything wait a minute let me wipe on um, Hey guys, so how you guys been doing this morning? And I'm I'm gonna make sure I come on too for a um I'm sorry, I just gotta mess these cups out right quick. Clean these cups right quick and um put them over here. Oh, I need another bottle of dishwashing liquid out that closet. I get it though. Just put that right there. Got my bleach. Can't forget your bleach. Okay, go ahead and run it in. Ooh, that's getting hot, 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 hot. All right, so let me get these carrots out and get this thing on the roll, people. That's all I'm gonna need these two carrots because I ain't gonna need three. Get my little curd curd squared away. And wait, I'ma just go over here right quick at my little trash can, guys, and um, do this. Uh, I don't feel like getting this. Get 
that, guys. So, just wanted to do that right quick. Took you guys with me over there right quick. Hey, yeah, guys. So, yeah, I like that. Already got my, um, and I'm going to just chop today, y'all. I ain't even going to use my chopping and all that stuff today. I'm just going to chop it by hand. Instead of using my um, chopping device and stuff. Sometimes I just like to, um, oh, snack. I'm going to let my water overflow. It's all good. It's all good. Let me rest this knife off. And you guys, so I'm just going to be chop, chop, chop up these celery. I like mine. Stuff like that, like a little, um, a little thick, because I do like celery, and it, it's, it, celery is a lot, remind me a lot, like, um, what you call it, a lot like, uh, mushrooms, because they, uh, take that little piece off, because they mostly, um, absorb whatever flavor, whatever you're cooking, it absorbs that flavor, and that's a lot like how uh, mushrooms are. That's why we say mushrooms don't really have. They have a light, light flavor. You know, currants have more of a flavor than a mushroom. And mushroom uh, um just pick up, absorb whatever it is that you're cooking. Yep, you guys. And um, I got my chicken and everything. So my chicken is already... Um, let me sit this right here for a minute. I'm trying to re. I could just sit this pan right here because this everything is already cleaned and washed out good. So I'm gonna just sit this right here. And um, yeah, I cleaned my chicken, everything good. I ain't worried about the fat or whatever. Because once this boil, I'm gonna take this chicken out and whatever fat else fat that I want to take off, I'll take off when I take it out to break it, shred it apart and stuff. So yeah, you guys, I'm just gonna sit. This um well this is a nice little small. I like this just enough for them big pieces too. Yeah okay, guys, let me go ahead and wash while I'm going along because it's pretty much how I like to do things. Just keep it clean, clean as you go, clean as you go. That's how you do that. Clean as you go. Got my vet, my uh what you call them up in there? Alright guys, so yeah. And Here's what I'm going to do with this. I got my turmeric. I'm about to put my, um, my turmeric. Let me move this over. Move this to the side. Bring this up here. Okay, guys. Yeah, I got my turmeric. So, what I'm going to do, shake some of um, this up in there. Put this on the top of this chicken. Like that. Lightly season it. Don't need a lot. That's how that's seasoned up in there. I just put a little bit. Alright guys, I got my um my Himalayan, pink Himalayan salt. And then you don't even need a lot of salt because you want to have a few of your seasonings up in here. Got my adobo. Put a little bit of that on there. Got my rosemary. And just that much. You're just going to put that much up in there. Sprinkle it on up in there. Got a little bit of uh, garlic. Uh, got my garlic powder. Just going to put a little bit of that. Don't need a lot. Got my uh, cilantro. I got to get me some fresh cilantro and stuff too. I can't wait. And, uh, just put this amount. That's all I'm putting in there. Sprinkling that up on there. Like that. Just like so. And of course, I have my, um, get my measuring cup out. This is my measuring cup and I'm about to put, um, I'm just going to add, uh, one cup of water. Okay. 
one cup of water and I'm going to add my bouillon cool cubes this is the chicken I'm sorry this is the chicken and I was debating guys whether to put the vegetable uh, bouillon cube in or the chicken or whatever but I said I'll just go ahead and put the chicken because I'm going to put um, a can of this um, cream of broccoli in there I'm not eating. And these cubes, these are soft cubes, and I do like these rather than the hard ones. And these cubes is um a nice size. So what I'm gonna do, I'm not gonna need the whole cube because I do want my other vegetables to come through with this dish. So what I'm gonna do is cut this in half, put it in that water, take this cube, and just wrap this bad boy on back up for another dish. And that's how we want to do that. Put that back in the pack. Like so. So, I'm going to get my fork. Oh, it's clean. Okay, yeah, guys, so I'm going to get this fork. And what I'm going to do with this hot water is break this on up like this. Let's go ahead and break it up. And also, it'll be good, you know, when you breaking it up and like trying to dissolve it you could boil you um put put um the container in the microwave and let your water get hot and put it in there and um you know that'll go ahead and dissolve it on up too like i said only put that half a cube in there because i want my all my flavors of my veggies and all that to come through you know what i'm saying come through for the girl all right got that all dissolved up and what I'm going to do is go ahead and pour this on the side. I don't ever pour my juices on top of the meat to take the seasoning off. So what I'm going to do, what you do is put it around the sides, like so. Put that on that side. Just like that. Still got some more up in here ain't really worried about that because that will uh dissolve just like that like so all right guys and this is how it's looking so far let you guys see that like i told you i just lightly season it and i'm gonna go ahead on and um throw my um curse up in here because i want that to cook right with that Yes, me and my husband, we love carrots, so yes. Get them carrots right on up in there. Just like so. Alright, so next, guys, I'm going to push that back. And I'm going to move it right along onto this onion. No matter what size, you cut your onions, whatever size that you choose, you know, that you want your onions to be cut. Put that over there. You can cut as much onions as, uh, you know, whatever you want. I do like onions and my stuff. Give it the, you know, onions bring out the flavor and everything. Gotta have that flavor, honey. Gotta make sure, and but you also, I like to make sure that my flavors are leveled right. You know, you don't want this overpowering that and just one main thing taking over a dish, you know. I like to make sure, and I'm going to just dump this right on in there. I'm going to go ahead and, yeah, I'm going to cut on up this onion. That's probably all the onion I, uh, yeah, that's all the onion I'm going to cut up. I'm going to put this other little piece back in here. And this way, do that like that. Go ahead and just cut up this little piece of onion. I ain't gonna need all that onion like that. Don't worry about my countertop, y'all. My countertop is clean. And yeah, bring this over here. Put that in there like that. And boom. Just like that. You got your little crock pot meal. So now, 
what I'm going to do now that I got my crock pot right here I'm going to stick this in my crock pot like this and put my top on all this already been washed up put my top on and I'm going to turn this on I can put this on low and this is my first time using this so I don't know um, how well like it heats up if it's on low or how to do if it's on high or whatever and um honey what time is it? Uh, 1228. 1228? Yeah. Oh it's 1228. I'm gonna go ahead and put this on high. It don't matter. I'm gonna put that on high because it's still a, a slow cooker. I'm gonna put this on high and let this go ahead and cook. So it's 1220 something so I'm going to let this slow cook for four hours. And, um, yeah, I'm going to let it slow cook for four hours and everything. And I'm going to take the, um, the chicken out. I'm going to debone that. And I'm also be saving my bones, too, guys, because I'm going to be making my homemade, my own homemade, um, chicken broth. And that's another thing, too. When I debone these and some of this broth on here, when I take the chicken out, I will be taking some of the broth. And putting it in one of my um, mason jars and sticking it in the freezer. I mean, the refrigerator. That way, I have my own my own broth. So that's how I'm gonna be doing that. And um, yeah, so and I'll just add to it, you know, when need be or whatever. And that way, boom, money saving, money saving tip. Ain't gotta worry about going to the store buying no chicken broth. You could do the same thing with beef, you know. And um, just pull that juice off, put it in a mason jar or something, store it or whatever, put it in your refrigerator, boom. You ain't got to worry about having the um, beef broth, you know, frugal ways. Home economics, people. Home economics. You heard me. That's all you got to do. Yeah. So, moving right along. Have that sitting out so I won't forget to do that. And um, I will come back, and like I said, if I debone this and everything... And I'm going to add in my um, cream of broccoli. And with this, guys, you can add in cream of broccoli, cream of mushroom, cream of chicken. Or you can add a can of uh, each. Like if I had a, cream, a can of cream of chicken, I would have dumped that in here. Even if I had a cream of um, mushroom with the broccoli, I would have dumped both of them right in here. But like I said, I'm going to pull um, half of this liquid off when it's done. Because it's still going to um, have liquid that rides up in it from the meat anyway. So I'm going to dump some of that off in here in four hours. I'm going to drop this in. And when I do that, I'm going to also put my um, veggies in. And therefore, my veggies be nice and thawed out or whatever. Even though I cleaned the rest of these off before I had cut them up, I'm going to rinse them off good. I'm going to rinse them off and let them sit in my strainer. So therefore, when I go to toss them in, all that excess water will then I'm left from out of these veggies. So it won't be adding more water to this because I don't want to put them in frozen and stuff like that and add more water since I'm putting them in later you know anywho yeah so yeah this is your girl home economics people home economics this is Gina coming to you from Gina's world with your healthy crock pot meal boom all right don't forget people hit that subscribe button give this girl a thumbs up and I'll see you guys in a couple of hours